Good morning, everyone. It's Jen from Catter Scrap Designs. Um, welcome back to my channel. I am here this morning to do the hashtag 50 stack challenge. We are on guest check 19 and 20. If you are not familiar with the challenge, um, it is hosted by Amy from Crafty Cat. And basically every Monday she pulls two prompts um, that we have to use to embellish our guest checks. And we don't have to use it fully, we just have to use something. So um, this week's prompts were, we're up to guest check number 19. Number 19 was pink and number 20 was woman. So we could um, use anything on the pink as long as there's pink in there. So for my pink, I'm going to be using these postcards that are pink. Um, and then for woman, I'm going to be using a woman stamp, which um, I did already use um, on a guest check earlier in the challenge, not realizing we were going to have a woman to do um, towards the challenge. And I don't have um, those cut out dolls. So I'm going to use my my woman stamp which I love and um, it's not too late to join the challenge so if you want to just pick up where we are right now you can start if you want to pick up where we are and then try to catch up that'd be great too um, it's a really fun challenge um, just looking and seeing what everybody else is doing and how they're embellishing their guest checks um, so with that said I'm going to get I'm going to get started with my guest check 19 which is pink and with a lot of my guest checks um I'm going to back these onto cardstock um and then probably sew them but with my guest check let me ink them first I like to do a lot of pockets um reason being when I use the ephemera for my journals um, whatever I'm using, I, I like to have pockets in my journals. So I figured if I'm going to be making it in advance, um, when the time comes to, you know, to need it, um, most likely I would have wanted a pocket. So that's where I tend to go with, with mine, not all of them, but the majority of them. that or some type of a writing space um a hidden writing writing space i like those so i'm just distressing the edges on these uh, mini postcards and on the back is just stark white so i'm gonna back it onto coffee dyed paper so they could be used as journaling spots, which is another thing I like to do, um, additional journaling spots. Because when you're embellishing, you don't really have a lot of room, like on the front of the guest check, to do any journaling. On the back of it, we have a lot of room Especially if you're not touching the back, which we're, I'm not. Not on this one anyway. And I'm just tacking this on the back because like I said, I'm going to sew it. And I actually do have pink thread. In my sewing machine, it's a very pale pink, but it's pink. So that's another pink. And like I said, when you when she pulls the prompts, you just have to use, like if I would have just used one postcard with one pink, that would have been perfect. So 
so again it's it's not too late to, to get started with us and join the fun These were most likely um, larger postcards that when I printed them, they printed out. I printed them multiple to a page, which is why they're smaller. And I just took this from my stash. That was already printed. So how is everybody doing this morning? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm getting ready to go on my vacation. So this will probably be my last video because I leave tomorrow morning. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna sew these and I have, this is a larger postcard and it's just, um, it's a digital, and it's just the one side of the postcard. So it's not the other side that says postcard with the stamp and all that. It's the actual note or letter um, that was written to the person. And I'm gonna use this as my background. And I thought um, what I would do is use this piece of vellum and make this into a pocket onto the gas check. And then we can place um, the postcards in here as journaling spots. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm gonna go stitch these and then I will be right back. Okay, so I am back and I sewed um, the pocket here. We could still see it's guest check number 19, um, but I sewed the um, postcard there with the vellum pocket and I am just going to the stress a little bit of the actual guest check even though it's coffee dyed um, it looks almost the same color and then we have the checks to either put in, leave the cart post out. I could leave it in this way. This one's a little bit bigger which is fine, put this one on the bottom. And this is, this is my guest check 19. So vellum pocket, three journaling postcards, um, using pink flowers. So I will put this over to the side and I will come to my guest check number 20. And we are going to 
um, emboss the ink because it comes out a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna have this open. And this is a set that came together. I got pressed down hard because I don't have an acrylic block that is long enough to hold her. So I kind of got to do this by hand and hope I get it all. I just re-inked this up, so it should be good. If not, we will just have to work with what we have. Hope this comes up dark. Now I'm gonna pour this vintage beeswax embossing powder over her. and hope it sticks, <laughs> which it did. Well, that's good. Okay, we're good. So we'll take the next piece, and I do have a block I could use. Let's hope this sticks, it does. Oh. Looks like this doesn't want to stick. Let's see what happens. Does anyone know how to get this to stick to the acrylic when it's lost its stickiness? If you know, let me know in the comments section below. I'm gonna pour embossing powder on this too. Excuse me. Going to do our standard fashions.
Take that off. Okay, now we are going to quickly emboss these with the heat gun. These are embossed. Some embossing powder on my desk. I'm gonna take the guest check. <clears throat> over a portion of the paper so it'll flop out my glue was getting a little a little liquidy and then it, it's getting stuck it's the weather Yes, and you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to ink that, distress it. I still got <clears throat> little pieces of um, the embossing powder. You can't really tell because of the coffee dye, or can you? Yeah, you could tell a little bit. We'll do it to this before I put it on. And I guess this was the fashion back then, so you could have gotten a pair of these boots for four ninety eight.
Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put this one on. put this one on. I love the way the embossing feels. <laughs> that glue up. So this is guest check number 20. It's pretty simple. It's just a flip out your standard fashions. The fashionable lady and the fashionable boots that she's wearing. And then we have um, journal space to journal in here. And then we have journal space on the back. <clears throat> and this is guest check number 20. So we have 19 and 20. And those are my checks for the week. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We have videos that come out um, pretty much uh, a couple weekly. And um, I would love to see you back. So until my next video, you guys have an awesome week. Bye.